the Maptitude Territory Manager contains tools for working with and modifying territory layers. This video has a brief explanation of how to use the Territory Wizard to create a territory layer, but you may want to first check out the video on creating territories before viewing the rest of this video. I have an Excel file that contains my customers, their addresses, their sales volume, and the sales territory to which they belong. I'm going to use this Excel file to create a territory layer, and then I'm going to use the tools in the Territory Manager to modify and rebalance the territories, and then export those changes back to Excel. I've already used Create a Map Wizard to locate all of my customers in my Excel file to a point layer on the map. Now I'm going to start the Territory Wizard by clicking the New File button, choosing Territories in Create a Map Wizard, and clicking Next. I want to use my Excel file again, so I'll choose from my Territory table, choose my Excel file, and click Next. The settings here are correct, so again I will click Next. I want to balance the territories based on my customer sales, so I will click here and choose Import Territory Table Fields, choose the second quarter sales field, and click OK. I also want to see the population in each territory, so I will again click here and choose Add Geography Layer Fields, choose Population, and click OK. Click Finish. Then enter a name for the new territory layer and click Save. Maptitude adds the territories to my map and opens the Territory Manager. On the Territories tab, you will see a list of the territories in the layer. It also displays the total sales for all of the customers located in each territory, so you can see that the South Territory has the highest sales and the Northeast Territory has the lowest. All of the fields that I chose to track are listed here, so I can choose to see the population of the territories as well. One thing you may notice is that some of the territories have some holes in them. The holes are where there are zip codes that were not in my Excel file because there were no customers located there. I'm going to start by fixing the holes in the Northwest Territory. You choose the territory you want to modify either by picking it from the Territory drop-down list here, or by using the Territory Picker button, and clicking on the territory. Notice that the Northwest Territory is now chosen in the drop-down list and highlighted in the list of territories. Use these tools to modify the features in the territories. For example, I'm going to use the Select by Pointing tool and click where the holes in the territory are to select the underlying zip codes. And now click this button to save the change. I'm going to repeat this for the Northeast Territory by choosing it from the drop-down list, adding some zip codes to it, and saving the changes. And finally, once more for the South Territory. I'm going to choose the Downtown Territory now and click this button to zoom to the territory. I want to add these remaining empty areas to the Downtown Territory. I don't want to move any zip codes that are already in one of the other territories, so make sure that the Empty Areas is chosen in the Select drop down list. And now I'm going to use the Select by Rectangle tool and drag a rectangle to highlight all of these empty areas. Again, I'll save the changes. Now, let's take another look at how the sales vary by territory. I want to adjust the territories so that the sales totals are more balanced. I'll start by moving some zip codes into the Northeast Territory. So I'll choose Northeast from the Territory drop down list. And I don't want sales territories to overlap, so I have to make sure that the Any Area and Prevent Overlapping Territories is chosen here. What this will do now is allow me to add zip codes to the Northeast Territory while simultaneously removing them from whatever territory they are currently assigned to. I'm also going to click the Changes tab so that I can track how the sales totals for the territories change as I move zip codes from one territory to another. Now I'm going to use the Select by Pointing tool and choose some zip codes to move. You can see that the Northeast Territory gains $341,724 in sales by moving this zip code. I'm going to zoom out and continue to click on more zip codes to get the Northeast Territory sales more balanced. And save the changes. Now, if I click the Territories tab, you can see that the territories are more balanced. 
I'm going to move just a few zip codes from the Downtown Territory to the Northwest Territory to make those a little more balanced. So I'll choose the Northwest Territory, zoom into its border with the Downtown Territory, and move a few zip codes. Now if I go back to the territories, you can see that they are much more balanced than they originally were. There is one last thing to do, however, and that is to update the customers with their new territories. For example, if I click the Info tool and click on this customer here, you will see that the Territory field still contains the original downtown value, even though this customer is now located in our Northwest Territory. To fix this, I'm going to open a data view of the customer layer. The Territory field currently contains the original territory each customer was in. I'm going to highlight the field and choose Edit Fill. Choose the Tag method and using the Territories layer, tag with the territory. When I click OK, map to 2 will compare each customer with the territory layer and fill the field in with the name of the territory in which the customer is now located. Now I'll close the data view. And when I use the info tool on that same customer, you'll see that the territory is now correct. Now that you've used the Territory Manager to modify the territories, and you've tagged the customers with their new territory assignments, you can export all of this information back to Excel. Highlight all of the territories in the Territory Manager, and right-click, and choose Export Territories to Excel. Maptitude creates a new Excel workbook with several sheets. The first sheet has the tracking data for the territories. In this case, it has the total sales and population for each territory. This next sheet lists all the territories and the zip codes that they comprise. This worksheet contains demographic overlay information about the territories, including the estimated median income, the number of households for various income ranges, the population, age, racial distribution, and housing data. And this sheet is like the original Excel file we used to create the territories, only this one now has the revised territory assignment for each customer, along with their latitude and longitude coordinates. And that wraps up this tutorial on using the Territory Manager.